If you've ever wanted to do step-by-step -step debugging of TensorFlow projects, but you didn't know how, check out this video, where in just a couple of minutes, I'll get you set up to use it with the PyCharm IDE. If you're like me, and you like to write a few lines of code at a time, and then step through them to make sure that they behave properly, but you're stuck a little bit with doing that with Python and TensorFlow, then this video is for you. Here, I have a very simple Hello World type application, where I'm going to train a model and then run inference on it. So here, I'm feeding the model with a set of x's and y's, and there's a relationship between x and y. It's a linear relationship, and if you think about it, you'll see that y equals 2x minus 1. So for example, if x equals 4, 2x minus 1 is 7. When x equals 3, 2x minus 1 is 5, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So with only just a few points of data, I'm going to train a model. And note that I'm not telling it the formula. I'm just training it on data. And then I'll try to infer from that what the y value should be when x equals 10. Now, we know that that's 19, but what will the model infer? So let's take a look at debugging it. I'm going to set a breakpoint. And just like I would with Android Studio or Visual Studio, I can run and debug. The debugger will launch. And now you can see I'm in step-by-step -step debugging. So here I have my model. And if I click Step to step over it, I've created it, and I can even take a peek inside of it. Here I add my layer, and it's just one with one node. So it's not really a network, but it's more like a single neuron. And now I can step over the compilation of the model and specifying the loss and optimizer functions. For my x's and y's, you can see that they're NumPy arrays. So when I step over them, I can inspect those directly in the debugger. So now when I run model.fit and I'm passing my x's and y's in, I can see that the correct data is being passed into the training of the network. So if something goes wrong, I know it's not because of the data. So now when I step over that, we can see the training take place. Now I have a trained model, so I can step to the next line and start looking at predicting values based on that model. So let's predict values for 10, 11, 12, and 13. And when I run model predict on these values and print it out, we can see the answers in the console. The results are pretty close. For 10, I would have expected 19. And for 11, I would get 21. But you can see that the model is getting very, very close to that. So that's today's tip, using the step-by-step -step debugger. It was a very simple scenario, but it really helps demystify some of the stuff that goes on in a TensorFlow application. It's amazingly useful, particularly as you prepare your data for training to be able to inspect it. So give it a try.